Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for coming in this cold weather to see this talk today. I'm David Flynn. I'm a consultant psychiatrist at Lambeth and Wolsey Hospitals. I'm also the chair of the Edmonton Collection, which is a collection of what I'm going to call this afternoon asylum art. This is art that's been produced in the mental asylums from the 19th and 20th century. And about this, with this eight, series of eight paintings is particularly important in the history of asylum art. So basically the creation of two men, one is Louis Wayne, the painter who created them, and the second is um, Walter McKay, who's a psychiatrist in the mortuary in the 1930s and 40s, who assembled the series. They have come to represent psychotic deterioration, which is an idea of the time, and they've also come to represent, iconically, the notion of mentally ill people's work. So Lee Wayne, born 1890, died 1939. He was a very famous Edwardian painter of cats, and his peak career was familiar, probably the 1890s to the start of the First World War. Hugely successful, but he had a serious mental illness when he was in his 60s, was admitted to asylums, first of all Springfield, then the Bethlehem, and then Netsbury. I will come back more to his story when we looked at the other guy, um, Dr. McKay. Dr. McKay was born in 1902, died in 1964, and he found these eight pictures in a junk shop in Notting Hill. And he first mentions them in a letter in 1939 to a colleague, saying they were interested because they fitted in with some of his ideas about schizophrenia. Then, they appear in a very significant book in 1950 by called Francis Brightman, a book called Psychotic Art. So in McKay's world, this series is runs in chronological order and represents a man's deteriorating ability to represent a cat coherently. So for example, this is seen as the latest piece and the most disorganised and most chaotic. I mean, seeing them today, it's the first time I've actually seen the originals. I'm amazed how beautiful they are. And I certainly don't immediately see this as being a totally disorganised and fragmented piece. When lots of people see these pictures, they refer to them being very trippy. Dr. McKay <coughs> believed that mescaline created a, a, a syndrome like schizophrenia. There's a particular leading outsider art expert who's told me about how much acid he took in the 60s and how these pictures remind him of his, his acid trips. And schizophrenia isn't really like that. Louis Wayne, he did have this significant mental breakdown and his work, I think, did genuinely change after his admission to hospital. So going from very, very human-like cats, cats playing cards, cats going shopping, cats smoking cigars, he did become very much more um, experimental, much more colourful, and we got another piece from his late work, assistant somewhere. <laughs> We're just an example of one of his late, really later pieces. And you can see it's hard to see that as deteriorated and um, a man is losing his ability to draw or create at all. But that's what Walton, McClay and Goodman believed. I do accept the fact he had schizophrenia was admitted to Natsby and early in his life because he's, his writings, even the 1910s, were very thought disorder. Thought disorder is something we mainly see in schizophrenia. It's whether your structure of your language breaks down, it's disorganised, it's hard to follow. And it's, it's almost uniquely connected to schizophrenia. Certainly some of the late canvases, there's very thought disordered writing on the back of the canvas, while the image on the front is very organised. And assuming he's writing on the back of the canvas at the same time as he was painting the front of it all, it does make me sort of buy into the fact he has schizophrenia. I don't know how much it matters, I think, the thing in those days was, if you have mental illness, you also went to an asylum. They're two different but important things. He was, work, he was living in the context of a mental asylum. Mm -hmm. So I think you have to 
separates the COCOS out from the location, the context of what it's doing. Um, I think to sum up, there are these eight period pictures. They were painted by Louis Wayne. They were constructed into a series by a psychiatrist, Walter Gook McClay. And they myth as a series portraying something that doesn't exist, which is psychotic deterioration, hasn't been amazingly robust. At the end of the day, seeing them today for the first time in the originals, they are, I just think they are beautiful paintings. And thank you for coming. Thank you.